Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So in today's video, we're doing a step-by-step -step installation guide for Windows 11. Now, if you're worried about losing data or you just aren't sure how to do this upgrade, we're gonna cover all of that in this video. Now, there are several different methods to installing Windows 11. If you wanted to see Windows 11 installed on various virtual machines, check out some of the other videos that we have on this channel. Now, I'm using my Mac today for a specific reason. As I go through the installation, I don't want my actual computer to restart. It's just gonna restart the virtual machine um, when we're doing this. And I'm recording my screen, so it's just kind of the easiest way to do it. Now, if you wanna know how I'm running Windows on my Mac, check out this video right here. Before we start today's video, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, the very first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Microsoft Edge. You can use any browser that you'd like. And we're gonna go to the website, aka.ms slash download Windows 11. Press enter. All right, and once we get to this website, we're gonna download the ISO disk image. So we'll select the multi-edition, press download. We're gonna select our product language and we'll press confirm. We're gonna press the 64-bit download button here. And I'll see you guys once the download is finished. Okay, just finished downloading. Let me just uh, slide my computer back into frame. I prefer to use the ethernet cable whenever I'm downloading literally anything because it's like three times as fast. Um, okay. So we have the ISO downloaded and we're going to go ahead and mount that. So I'll go to my file explorer and I'm gonna pull up my downloads here. I have to do a special extraction on the virtual machine, so don't worry about this part. All right, so once you double click on that image file and go ahead and mount it, you're gonna see a file called setup.exe. We're just gonna double click this and we'll press yes on the pop-up. And then here we get a little uh, license term agreement. We're gonna press accept. And then next you're gonna get a little pop-up window that says choose what to keep. Now in most settings, you're gonna to wanna to keep your files, settings, and apps. Uh, but if you don't, you have the option to choose right here. So we'll leave this here and we'll press next. All right, and then once that loads, it's gonna do like a, an update check and a couple of other things. <clears throat> we're gonna review what we have right here. If everything looks good, we're gonna press install. All right, guys, the only thing left in the installation process for Windows 11 is to go ahead and set up your account. Now, I'm not doing that in this case because I was just simply doing a reinstall for the demonstration, but there are a few very, very basic inputs. You'll do things like sign into your Microsoft account if you choose to do so, and with just a few more clicks, you will be on your desktop. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys have any questions, drop those in the comment section below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Again, if you're interested in your own copy of Windows 11 or other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.